How to Battle Fear In uncertain times, our go-to mindset is fear. It seems to soothe us when we continually let ourselves go down fear-filled, what-if roads. As followers of Jesus, we can battle this. We don't have to let fear win. This plan is filled with practical tips as you take steps to win the battle fear is waging. Day 1 of 4 Devotional Test it In difficult times, we must consider what we're filling our minds with. It's important to be informed, prepared, and ready to the best of our human abilities, but we can't overload with too much negativity or information that incites fear. God is honored when we play our part, but we must allow Him to handle the rest. Nothing surprises Him. When things go beyond our reach and we feel we've lost control, we often let our minds run rampant with fear-filled thoughts and what-if scenarios. Before we know it, our actions are no longer rational. There's good news. We have a guide to help us own our thoughts. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 is a great test as to whether we should think about something. The verse tells us to think about things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and worthy of praise. Consider each word listed below. True. One of the most important things to consider about our thoughts is, are they true? We need to focus on what is authentic and real. Noble. Because we are children of God, we're in the highest of ranks. Our thoughts should be royal and regal. Let's not allow ourselves to think in an unkind or repulsive manner. Right. Thinking the right thoughts means allowing accuracy and appropriateness to guide us. We are called to right living and right thinking by God's word. Pure. To be pure in heart and thought is not as difficult as it seems. It's simply choosing to think about good, upright, and honest things. Lovely. To think lovely thoughts means to see the beauty in life and allow our minds to think upon those things. Let's look for the good. Admirable. To be admired is something most people want. But do we want admirable thoughts? Thoughts that are credible and distinguished and allow us to live in such a way that is commendable. Excellent. The best of the best is what excellent is. When our thoughts are excellent, they are superb, exceptional, and fabulous. Excellent thoughts lead us to live excellent lives. Worthy of praise. What thoughts are worthy of praise? Thoughts about God. His ways, His plans, and His creation, to name a few. It's safe to say that when our thoughts are on Him, that's a good thing. So, what happens when we test our thoughts with these guides and our circumstances are still bleak? That's where faith enters. We weren't created to know the future that's God's job. He sees and knows the future because he is all-knowing, all-powerful, and he's everywhere all the time. And guess what? He sees you. He's with you. He's covering you. Even when you can't sense it, trust that he is by standing on his truth. Can we adjust 100% of our thoughts? Probably not. But, in the world of our thoughts, some improvement is better than none. We can begin to win this mental war by owning one thought at a time. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 In conclusion, my friends, fill your minds with those things that are good and that deserve praise, things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and honorable. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 To have faith is to be sure of the things we hope for, to be certain of the things we cannot see. Publisher